Welcome back to my channel. So a company by the name of SVT sent me this bob wig. Um, this is a 16 inch 14, 13 by 4 lace front. It's just your typical bob stock wig. And I just wanted to do like a little bit of customization and curling it up. Because I've, I've never worn a bob wig that was like that had curls in it. And so you guys know that I'm getting into curls. So I was like, okay, let me try curling it. And it came out actually really cool. So um, this is video is just a customization video. All right. So I'm going to take my 30 volume developer and my quick blue, a scoop of each. And I'm going to mix them together to get the paste or the, the consistency that I want. And then I'm going to just go ahead and apply it onto the lace. So now that I have the consistency that I want, I'm going to go ahead and start bleaching the knots. Um, I like to work on the hairline first because that is my main focus. A lot of people don't like to start off with their hairlines, but me, I would rather my hairline be not to be bleached first and then the back of it not, but typically everything gets bleached at the same time anyway but yeah so I like to focus on the hairline um, I do apply a little pressure because I find if you don't apply pressure when applying your bleach um, it might not go as far as low to the knots as you want like it won't fully cover the knots it'll just like tint underneath and I don't want that I want the entire knot bleach and uh, again you do not want blonde knots okay you want to get them to a nice brown where you could tone them out alright because um, blonde knots it'll just shed on you and that's what you don't want so um, now that the hair is I washed out the bleach out of the hair and I toned it with vanilla no yellow shampoo and this is the hair dry I did not have to pluck this hairline it was already pretty decent for me all I did was go in and do some baby hairs and I'm doing light little framing layers again I'm learning how to do that as well um, it's just a learning lesson for me and, and this is the beauty of learning how to do stuff you just keep doing it until you get better at it and then watch Y'all gonna end up seeing a video and I'm gonna slay the entire situation. You feel me? So I'm just going to end with my razor and just doing light layers just in the front so it could just fall nice. And I think I did a good job because it did fall pretty decent after I did curl these up. Okay? So after I do that, I am going to use some spritz because that I really like spritz. Spritz held my curls up a lot. And then this is my, I think, a one-inch barrel from um, Ion, a curler that I got from Amazon. I'll leave that down below in the description box as well. This is one of my favorite curlers. And basically, all I did is the key to this is curling backwards. And you're going to get something kind of like pin curls, which is cool. So I'll curl it. And then I'll let the curl go in my hand. I might spray it in, with some spritz. And then I'll pin it so it can um, cool down in place. And that's basically all I did. Um, I actually curled this. And then I let my curl sit for like two days. I have an issue with doing that. Um, letting my curl sit for a long time. Just because I'll be wearing other wigs. And then I'll come to it. Come back to it. But yeah. So the, the after I did this. I applied it two days later. And then that was how my curls looked. But if I probably applied it right after I curled it. They probably would have came out more like defined and super neater. I think I don't know we'll see but like it came out cute like this is grown hair like I never had a hairstyle like this before ever and I actually really liked it it, it suited me like it was like mm, okay this is like 
you know, I'm I'm I just want to be cute and I don't want to I don't want to have length, but I just want I want some hair and I want it to be like super duper cute and I want to go on a date with Bay and I just want to be flirty and funny. <laughs> that, that's that's what we're going to call it, flirty and funny. I also want to mention that this hair curled really nice and it was very soft and silky and that's what I actually like when it comes to hair especially like when you curling hair because like sometimes I find like when I cur when I try to curl hair because you know I'm not good at it when I try to curl hair it, it, it gets a lot frizzy looking okay so um, the fact that it it I, I be wanting my hair to look silky curled but this one did way better than other um, wigs or hair that I've tried to curl. It looks more tamed and put together if that makes sense. So this is the wig after I finished curling everything and mind you like I said I let it sit for a couple of days but now we're going to go ahead and install this wig so I already have my cap ready. This wig did fit snug okay so if you are a size 23 this might not be the size cap for you maybe they have larger sizes I'm not sure but um if you are a 22 and a half a 22 you, this will fit you perfect but if you are a solid 23 or bigger this wig is going is not going to fit you how you want it to fit all right so i have everything planned out of where i want everything to sit so i'm gonna take this new glue that i've tried this is the kiss almighty bond and i have a video on this glue that's already uploaded on my channel so if you want to if you're interested in seeing um a review and a demo of the lace glue and the remover i will definitely link the video at the end of this I'm just putting some of the bond onto my stocking cap and my skin and I'm smoothing it out because uh, that's what I normally do when it comes to glue. I'm not going to put it towards my sideburns because my stocking cap didn't like, you know, cover my sideburns all the way and I just did not feel like getting uh, glue on my sideburns like that. So I did um, avoid putting glue in that area as much as I could. And I'm going to do three layers and I'm going to go ahead and apply my wig down.
so I was in a rush and the little my little facial hairs the glue was clinging to the facial hair so basically I installed the wig anyway but I made sure that I pulled the hairline up in front of where that glue was just so I could hide the fact that my glue wasn't completely fully dried um, if you do this you want to make sure that your glue is not super super white okay because this is not gonna work so um, pull it in front of your hairline um, and then you want to place your glue uh, place your lace where you want it to be sitting okay but make sure it's in front of that glue area that's not completely white push it in but be gentle where the white areas are and then blow dry it and tie it down until it completely turns white you don't want to push the lace in where the white areas are because you do not want it to seep through your lace that's a, that's the best advice I could tell you when you do this just wrap your hair down wait like 20 minutes and your hair will turn its natural color and this was my final re final results SVT your hair was really cute and I enjoyed this this is one of my staple wigs that I'm for surely gonna keep because I love this look on me would you guys wear this cute little curly bob Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Until next time, bye best friends.